There we go. Amazing. Oh, can I have those? Yes, yes, you can. Thank you. <laughs> yes. This, isn't this a beautiful controller, dude? I just love it. I can't do it quite yet. No. No. Set up control. Go to Scania. Channel 7. That one. Are they like servers? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Just enjoy the ethereal music, which got turned off temporarily, but you can hear it. There we go. It's like a Tim Burton movie. <laughs> I am going to fuck up all my life. All my life, I am going to fuck up all my life, all my life. What am I doing with my life? I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm sitting here and my booty suck, my booty stuck, cause my booty suck. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my stupid life. Can you help me get through? Can you help me get through my life? Hey, that sounded really good, actually. I, I, a, look, you need a producer to just sit you down in front of a microphone. Yeah. And cut an album. That's what you need. Right, bro? Yeah. Where's up, church? That's what I'm asking. Oh, snap. What was it? It was 17. 17 something. 19, 1200. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's correct. There we go. You got an amazing system to be able to switch through resolutions like that and not crash. That's true. Like, it's impressive, you know? That's true. Still a good one. Good baby. <laughs> Whoa. Welcome all to Shani's Maple Story Adventure. Yes, welcome to my adventure. Yes. Complete with Tim Burton music. You gotta enable your controller. Yeah, yeah, I got to go to Joypad setting. That gotta... maps it. Yeah. Insert. They have auto map. Default. There you go. Cool. Okay. And you should be good. Default. I'm not moving. Oh, I move. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh. Is it the right controller selected? Controller, yeah, Xbox. It's not moving. It's not taking the Xbox controller, boo. Maybe you have to turn it on in the Steam settings. That's, Maybe, I don't care. That's too bad. I need the, can you plug in the, um, Oh my god. The mouse and the... I put that away. Oh, okay. well, I'm going to need the keyboard. But I can do this right now. So people aren't totally bored. You bought something pretty in my honor? Thank you, rabbit old bat. This is not getting broken. I'm a good saner. Thank you. Yes, you are. All right. Hello, the days. It says a box of considerable age. Oh, wait, we already did that. Complete. Shite. How is the pizza? I didn't get the pizza. You decipher the ancient script on the box. It is written with a figurative lilt. As ancient verse, it won't do. 
but after mulling over it a while, you think you have a good idea of what it's referring to. Oh, shit. I increased. In levels. We. Your spinal surgeon appointment is at one. God bless you, Tracy. I hope it goes good for you. Amen. Jesus, give a good report. Amen to that. Heal you. Heal you from all your pain and suffering in your life. Jesus, heal. Amen. Yes. Wait, can I? I can move this. I want to move it. Can I move it? I don't think I can move it. What? It's stuck that way. Okay. This is Maple World. I can move that. Okay. See, there, you get a bunch of tabs, and it's like... There's like this right here. Welcome. All right. We'll do that. That looks good. <clears throat> Find the Alter Key 3. So basically, it's telling me to get the offering from whatever is guarding these ruins. Then once I've done, I place it in front of the pillar that correctly answers the riddle. Gotta love the way these ancient ruins are always so roundabout with their secrets. True, man. Hey. I know the answer now. Take that ancient riddle markers. Now let's find this ruins guardian and get pillar offering times five. I think if I poke around here, I'm bound to run into the Ruins Guardian sooner or later. Okay. So we're going to the route. We have the quest helper right here. It says find altar key, pillar offer in five, and then Ruins Guardian. Ten. I have to kill ten Ruins Guardians? Ugh. All right. Oh. You have arrived at- I can't- You can't attack? Aha! Get the hell out of here. Wow! No! Get away from me! Get away from me! Flip! Yeah! Okay, I think it's Z. Yeah, it is Z. Yeah. Z to lift up. I love this freaking game. I can see your part. Oh shit, 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 shit. Yeah, I know. Back off, buddy. I'm a blue haired, blue eyed girl, man. I don't need you to punk me out, man. That's bit, that's BS. He just spawned behind you. Oh, go back to the root. Get away from me, dude. You're done. Back off. Killed enough. All right, I'm going in the portal. We're going back to the chest. Find Alter Key Three complete. Oh shit! What's going on? A temperamental dancer best viewed with distant gaze. In crimson does its pirouette, in black its footfall stays. A temperamental dancer best viewed with distant gaze. In crimson does its pirouette, in black its footfall stays. Its footfall stays. So it's a temperamental dancer who's kind of like and it wears crimson and it does a pirouette and in black it like stays still I don't like understand man huh oh shoot wait 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 what, what, what does this say Place the offering before the pillar with a correct answer. Cloud, fire, moonlight. What? 
cloud, fire, moonlight. Distant. I, in crimson, it does the black of football stick. I say it's moonlight. Think so? Yeah. I'm thinking moonlight. Go for it. I don't think anything happened. Usually there'd be some sort of fancy special effects right about now. I guess that might not have been the right answer. Mm. Oh, snap. It's not the moon? Not the moon. A temperamental dancer. Best viewed with distant gaze and crimson. It does a pair of black. It's football stains. Fire? Crimson. Crimson. Yeah, if it's black, it doesn't move. Yeah. So disgusting. It's really, I, it makes me so sick, Shannon. It really does. Do, 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 do. I want to talk to people who are cool, not people who just want to cause trouble. With a rumble and uncomfortable scrape and sound, a concealed compartment on the bottom of the box slides open, and the crowd goes wild. Answer correctly. Whoa, I did! Mm -hmm. The last key to the altar, and that, of course, makes three. I guess it was a good thing I stopped to translate that riddle, Mom. Now that I have all three keys, the next step is to plug these things into the altar. Huh. The keys shine in again. There must be something that way. Where is the light pointing me? And I bet my weight in mesos that it's the altar. Oh. We gotta go back moments later. Somewhere in the Partum ruins. Ha. Found you at last, Relic. You put up a good challenge, but now you're all mine. Took it. Oh, day, man. You took it, bro. That's a video. It plays a video in there. That's yeah. A, that's really neat. I see why it takes a long time to load. Exactly, that's man. That's really cool. Okay. <laughs> Almost there. Cute little. <laughs> Hello, flat sky. Hi, Ava Robinson. Uh, feels like my innards are on fire. What the heck happened back there? What was up with the super anonymous energy? Ominous. Ominous. <laughs> Was it because I touched the relic? Is this one of those creepy curses you always hear stories about? Guess my mentor is right. She was always saying that in this line of work, danger rips, or danger nips at curiosity's heels. Probably should have taken that part more seriously. Maybe. Congratulations, Destina07. You've soaked up everything I've taught you like a sponge, but now it's time to head out and explore the world for yourself. I'm certain it won't be long before you have a quiver full of tales to tell, stories from your own adventures. After all, 
Having observed your growth as I've trained, I can say with confidence that your daring and curiosity exceed even that of your fellow explorers. However, I want you to be aware that I worry for you for those exact same reasons. Curiosity can be the torchlight that illuminates here to fro unseen paths, but it can also be the unappended candle that sets the house ablaze. That's why, if you remember anything you've learned from me, I want you to remember that in this line of work, danger tends to follow the curious. And to the, uh, that end, you must learn to control your curiosity, know when to indulge it, and when to deny it. <coughs> but I... The relic. An artifact of unknown purpose imbued with a powerful curse. Enamored by ancient artifacts, you found the relic while exploring. Afflicted with its curse, you teethered between life and death. And barely pulling through, you began to travel the land, hoping to learn more about the relic. But something about you is different from before. What? What? It becomes like a clean-on weapon. Yeah. But it's a bow. Okay. The ancient bow. All right. What first seems to be a double-bladed dagger was, in fact, a mystical ancient bow. Through the relic's influence, you can draw out its hidden power. Curse sig sigil. The curse's mark on your hand has grown smaller, but shows no sign of disappearing. You feel it slowly eating away at your life force. I must escape this cursed fate, whatever it takes. Oh. Mm -hmm. I have a cursed fate. It's obvious. My trolls say I have a cursed fate, too. Several days later, near the Pardum ruins, guess the investigation always starts at the scene of the crime. This is so beautiful. Look at that. It is. It all happened in these ruins, so I figured there might be a clue on how to break the curse here, too. But even if there is, it does me no good if I can't even get in. That leaves me with just two options, and either I find some way to get inside the ruins, or I check out places nearby. Great. Okay. Okay, then. Before I get into the swing of this investigation, I better make sure I'm prepared. All right. Whoa! Whoa! Guide first job advancement. You've reached level 10. Okay. Okay. Alright, so I got a job advancement. Alright, let's click on here. Some sort of ancient force entered me after I came in contact with the relic, which would be cool, kind of cool, except for that curse I picked up in the process. That's kind of a big drawback. Well,. There's no pulling the toothpaste back in the tube. Mm. There's no putting the toothpaste back in the tube. What? Yes, sure so. As they say, I've never heard that before. I have many times. Really? Yeah. I've never freaking heard that. I mean, it's pretty accurate statement. I think. I've got to stay calm and think about what I can do now. By the way, let me just say this to my audience, okay? I'm not worried about traitor or anything like that. I'm not worried about it. I'm just having fun. And that's what I'm going to continue to do, is have fun. Yeah. 
you know. They take things that I say, they cherry pick them, they put them out of context and twist what I say and I'm done. So, like, I just don't care. So we're going to move on and I'm just going to have fun and we're going to play a wonderful game. I would say one thing about it what? and I'll never mention it. If you sign that petition, what you're doing is engaging in false flagging because Shani's doing nothing wrong on her channel. So I'd say that and let it at that. Don't sign the petition. Thank you very much. Exactly. <sighs> Maybe a little self-reflection would do me some good. Abs well, I'm doing that in therapy pretty much. A few minutes of meditation, some breathing exercise, and I'll be able to feel the change inside me. You know, that's that's really a good idea. We should all take a moment of meditation right now. Everyone breathe in through their nose. And then out through your mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. Do that a few times and you will feel wonderful and chi yeah. and relaxed. That's nice. Namaste. Namaste. Blessed be. Yes. So we accept that because we did that. Well, there's one silver light into this curse. It looks like I can actually use the ancient bow now. I say that's pretty classy upgrade. I say so, Sue. Classy. Even for the terminally hexed. Oh, bro. Ever since I touched the relic, I've been able to use those new skills, too. It's like the knowledge has just dumped right into my brain or something. I can press the basic key set in K to distribute... SP and assign any skill. So K is skill. All right. And of course, as a mentor taught me, I can always use the basic key settings and second key settings C. Oh, settings settings is S, and secondary key setting is C to distribute AP. I think I should have leveled up given all the trouble I went through. And higher levels mean more AP. That's true. Ability points. Yes. Cool. Looks like I'm sadly as I'll ever be. Now let's head out and see what we can find. Wait, let me level up. Whoa. Mascarpo. He's cool. I want a plushie of him. Yeah, man. <laughs> He's really neat. need to leave me alone. You're not doing anything. No. You are being a normal streamer on YouTube. Stop trying to scare me and freak me out. I don't like it. Vimi. Gak. Bois. What? That's an awful weird sound, and it's coming from somewhere nearby. After I've looked around a bit, I'll go see what's up. Can I go level up? Okay, I can. Your AP points? Yeah. Curse dampening. Release power built up in the relic through continuous combat to weaken the effects of the ancient curse. Cardinal deluge. An archery technique that zeroes in on targets within range. Guided shots target the boss with ISHP. Okay. Huh. Double jump. Allows you to use double jump skill very quickly. Yeah, I like double that. I like that. That's cool. But archery mastery. I might want to do that. Gain proficiency in fundamentals of archery. Increases range, moment, attack, and probably want to do that first because it like raises each level that way. Okay. 
So I think we're gonna do archery mastery right now. I Does got that it. increase like your damage with arrows too and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Put five in that. Alright. And then we got the I'll just auto assign that. Everything's going in dexterity, it looks like. Alright. I got no items I can wear. Alright. Do I have any items? Oh, I got the- I got that. How do I equip it? Wait. E. God, I still remember, man. You do. Uh, let's see. Put it on the bow. My job class can't do it? What? Mm hmm. My job class can't fucking post it. What's that right there? What do you this? You can't level. You maybe have to be higher. Level. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I guess this is my um weapon for right now. For now. And then I got Curse Seeker. It gives me max HP and MP of 50 plus. So we'll put this on. Where's the metal? There's the metal. Right there. All right. What's this new? Available quest. Pink yet yeah, bean world is here. What? Claim your mission to world. I'm not looking at that right now. Pink bean world. Pink bean world. <laughs> okay. Gavin Toe beans. Okay. Everyone, go to your pink toe bean world. <laughs> Your Toby world. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. I read the chat. Chill out. Why does every just God man? This is also Heal. a gaming stream. Yeah, man. Marscarpo. He's cute. He's in the ground, baby. I see. His little butt's wiggling I know. his feet. He's cute. There's something moving there in the brush. Time to find out what we're dealing with. Marscarpo. Pull him out. Arg! Says to save me. My poor head. It's become stuck in the ground, you see. <laughs> Oh my god, Mascarpo. You gotta pull him out. We gotta we gotta fix Marscapo. Okay, bugs, I'm blocking you. You're just you're just like trying to start trouble in the chat. Stop it. I talk. Hi pink bubble tea. Like just stop trying to cause trouble all the time. Oh, shit. I'm fine. I'm gonna turn one thing into I did? Yeah. Ah, shite. It happens. Yeah, it happens. What game is this? It is Maple Story. Hello, Destiny07. Welcome to Maple World. I'd like to give you a little help. Do you know what a return scroll nearest town is? Yes. I do. Return scroll nearest town is an item that sends you to the nearest town from your current location. Use it when you're out hunting and ready to return to town. Then you can save those footsies for fighting. Pretty useful, huh? I guess so. But don't forget one return squirrel. Nearest town will be consumed immediately upon use. Also, you can't use it in places where teleport is not allowed. Last, you can buy return squirrels nearest town from a merchant in the nearest town. All right. Now I'm ready to hand it over. Do you want return scroll nearest town times 10 now? Yes. Sweet. 
I just gave you return squirrel nearest town times ten. Happy travels, Destinia. Oh seven. Hurrah! Oh. Actually, Maple Story is not um, Canadian. It's actually Korean. A Korean game. And then they, you know, made an English one. Yeah. It's cool, man. Right? Yeah, it is. This is a total geek game, though. It is. Like, it's a keyboard game, so it's a geek game. They say legends sleep beneath the forest, but it sounds like a load of honey to me. <laughs> a load of honey? <laughs> Research and rescue. Greetings, fellow organism. Greetings, fellow... She's Vulcan, man. Yeah, fellow organism. That's something a Vulcan would say. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice you seem to be in need of some assistance. Amazing. Please, you must help me. Look at the tears in his eyes. I it's know. horrifying. It's sad. Must I? Hmm. If I do, will you do anything I ask you in return? Why can't you just help him just to be a nice person? It's get like his head out of the sand. What the hell? I don't like my character, man. That's not nice. She's, she's, uh, she's got attitude. Right? She's definitely got attitude. They, they must feel emboldened lately. I guess so. Say what? I find... But it has something to do in something in or near the town. As long as that's okay with you, I'll do whatever you want. Okay, you've got yourself a deal. Get ready to be unceremoniously yanked from the ground like a turnip. Oh. My God, woman! No, 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 no way! You can't just pull me up like some weed. My tender, sensitive body could be torn right in two. Then whatever's inside of me would spill out. And oh dear, I'm sure it would be a terrible mess. I'm sure it would be, bro. He's a little potato. A poor man, man. He's a little potato. He's like here. totally afraid to get his like guts all splattered all over the place, man. I know. Okay, then what should I do? Seed oil, that's the ticket. I think if you drizzle some of that on me. Seed oil? Seed oil? Drizzle that seed oil on me, baby. Yeah, gladly. I'll pop out like a jack-in-the-box, except in reverse. I suppose seed oil is pretty common around here, so now you don't expect I'll be any trouble to get some. Man, he wants that bitch to oil him down, man. I <laughs> that, man. Holy crap. That's pretty explicit. Right? Yeah. Oil me down, baby. Right? Yeah, baby. Twin Thane asks you, are you allowed to play too or just watch her? I'll, I'll give you the full answer to that. Uh, my cognitive state currently is not that I could play any game. And I enjoy very much watching Shanny play shit. So I'm very happy to be here and give commentary and just love on my girl. I love watching you play games. I've wanted this so bad for you to play something. Thank you. Yeah. He likes me. I do. He really likes me. A lot. Bring pudgy, pudgy? <laughs> Bring pudgy flower seed oil times ten from pudgy flowers for me. You can find pudgy flowers nearby in the forest of pudgy flowers. Okay, that's cute. <laughs> pudgy flowers. I have a pudgy flower. 
<laughs> you want to get my pudgy flower seed oil going? Yeah. I think I was getting it going last night anyway. Definitely. Oh, definitely, my love. Your, definitely. Your seed oil was flowing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Shanty seed oil. Yeah. Start root. Start the root. He's still in there. You could have pulled him out. What? It's like, no, I need the oil for Your maybe the characters o mean. No, we need the oil. Are these? Oh the yeah, that's right. To the, get him out correctly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he doesn't hurt. He doesn't hurt himself. There, I think no. That looks like a MP. Point. Oof. There's the the pudgy seed oil. Yeah. Oh, you see it. Okay. Killing these pudgy freaking flowers. It's pretty powerful already. That's because you picked bulb proficiency, right? That's right. You're kicking ass already. You're breezy. Ooh. Bronze Igor for a thief. Oh, I'm not a thief. Mm. I'm a bowman. Wrong class. Yeah. Gotcha. But you can trade that with someone. Right, or sell for money or whatever. Yeah. It's a cool game, man. Right? It's cool. See, to my trolls out there, <laughs> if you want to battle me, you're going to have to battle me on this game, man. That's right. If you want to fight me, you're going to have to come to this game, and we're going to have to, like, fall brawl it out. Who, who's the better Maple Story player, huh? That's it. Let, let's do that. Since you want to be all competitive all the time, well, I, I choose the fight. I say through Maple Story. I bet I'm, I can make a better Maple Story character than you. Yeah, I bet ya. You haters. Absolutely. Take the challenge. Yeah, will you take the Shanty challenge? The Shanty, Shanty Maple Story challenge. Yeah. Come beat Shanty and show that you're a real boy. Yeah. <laughs> a real boy. Show me your real boyness. <laughs> yeah. The world is Scania. The channel is Seven. Seven Chan. Yeah. <laughs> in in the Scania. <laughs> oh, they're telling you you got enough. Leave. Yep. Wee. Oh, no fall damage. Sweet. Yeah, man. You don't have to worry about falling. She just loves hearing about Shanny's <laughs> seed oil. <laughs> Better believe it. Them's fighting words. They are fighting words, man. Bro, come get me. Come get me in Maple Story. Huh? Research and rescue complete. Sweet. Ah, you... oh, he's out. You drizzled the seed oil all over the unfortunate fellow until the ground itself was moist. Moist. Then with a sucking sound and a oh. loud pop, Ooh. something rather strange popped out of the ground. Wow. Yeah. That was highly erotic. <laughs> it popped out. It popped out. Marscarpo. <laughs> He's like, what? What the fuck am I doing? Like, what, man? Huff. Puff. Good idea. Yeah. You really did it. You saved my life. What a kind soul. Your generosity is truly boundless. <laughs> they say legends sleep beneath the forest, but it sounds like a load of hooey to me. Phew, I'm a bit dazed as you can probably see, but I deal is a deal. What is it you want me to do for you? Go on, don't be shy now. <laughs> All right, man. He's high as fuck. Yeah. I guarantee it. Marscapo's high. CBD oil. Right. 
Yeah. Right, my character looks like a booze boozer. A boozer? Yeah. I think she looked sort of gothy, sort of. That's right. She chooses booze. I don't want much information, mainly. Tell me what you know about this area. This forest is pretty vast. What are you curious about most specifically? If I, the adequately intelligent Marscopo, possesses knowledge <laughs> that can be help, I'd gladly share it with you. Oh my god, he's like Trump. <laughs> what? It says, ask about the ruins. Okay. The ruins? You mean the tottering Tower of Rumble over there? <laughs> I've heard it was held in high regard in ages past, and even treated as place of worship. Because there was some sort of power there that could heal the injured. <laughs> what? He's Trump? Absolutely. But you know how things go. Times passed, the crowds thinned, and eventually people stopped coming all together. No fucking shit. It's true. Why can't we come together and just have fun, folks? That's right. Why do we always have to be such jerks to people? We just need... love people, man. Yeah, we need to tell people to listen to the song Come Together just over and over again. Yeah, man. That's what you need, man. After that, a rather unwholesome energy begins seeping out of that place, man. What is Gad? I don't know what Gad is. Gad. <laughs> It's a mental disorder. Oh. Yeah. Generalized anxiety disorder. God bless you, Libra. Ah, okay. I'm so sorry. That horror, I'm sure I feel for you. Okay. Yeah, man. I can fully empathize with you. Yeah. Like, I, like, I have an anxiety disorder, too, and, like, I was, like, talking to my therapist... Oh, we gotta do that too. The list of psychiatrists, I have it. That's good. But, um. Where was I going? I don't oh, know. Yeah. I, want, I wanna go and get some medication for anxiety, because it's like going outside, because I'm agoraphobic, is so hard. And the whole time my heart is like beating really fast, and I'm like just. I think, freaking out. Yeah, that you, yeah, I can tell just by the way that you, like, hold my hand sometimes that you, you're feeling anxiety. I know you are. Yeah, man. I feel that on you. For me, I, I think I would straight up... You, I love Stardew Valley. I just want to play this game because I haven't played it in a long time. Yeah. yeah. This is a new story that I've never played. It's something new. Pain and damage that I will never get better. Oh, God bless you. May Jesus give you comfort. Yeah, amen. I'm, 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 I'm blessed I'm going to the doctors right now because it is helping me through my pain and struggles. Amen. <clears throat> When was I first diagnosed with Hashimoto's? Uh, 19. When you were 19? Yeah. Sure, it started small and most dismissed it, but over the years it grew stronger until it became what you see now, creepy ruins that mothers tell their children never to play near. This forest is pretty vast. What are you curious about most specifically? If I, the adequately intelligent Marscopo, possess knowledge that can be of help, I'd be glad to share it with you. In this forest, we sometimes find long buried parts of the ruins poking up above the surface. But we, Kanupa, <laughs> or wait, wait, is it Karupa? Karupa! We Karupa, oh fuck, I, for, I, I, shit. <laughs> We did have one weirdo who liked to collect things from the ruins. That would be you. Oh, thanks, because I'm the weirdo, yeah. Yeah, you collect things. Oh. And and your house was kind of like a ruin. Yeah, that's true. 
Yeah. But for the most part, we avoid anything that has to do with that awful place. Yeah, we do, actually. That's truth. It almost sounds like you're actually interested in collecting weird trinkets from the ruins yourself. Psh, ancient artifacts are the coolest. These blobby talking things are what's weird. Still, sounds like even if they do know something about the relic, they be tight-lipped about it. Mm. She's trying to get under the blanket. Mm. Are you feeling chilly, baby girl? I think she's feeling chilly. I go to my fucking blank on it. You go. What's your deal? How did you go get Hashimoto's to go in remission? It. What? That doesn't happen, right? That doesn't happen. I still have it. Yeah. Later, Melly. This forest is pretty vast. What are you curious about more specifically? If I, the adequately intelligent Marscarpo, possess knowledge that can be of help, I'd be glad to share it with you. Okay, Marscarpo. Oh, are you interested in our little Karupa town? Yes, I am. <laughs> Well, Karupa Town is more of a description than a proper name, really. It's the place where the people who have called this part of the town home for generations live. I'm a proud Karupa myself, yes, yes. We tend to be rather faint-hearted lot, so we don't really do much traveling. And by that I mean we seldom leave the village. We also don't have much in the way of communication with the outside world, aside from the explorers who pass through from time to time. So, there's an indigenous race of something close, but they've got a collective fear of the ruins that goes back generations. It doesn't sound like I can waltz up and ask them how to open the entrance again. It feels like I'm wasting my time poking around here. Maybe it's time I got a move on and continued my search somewhere else. It may be bold, Explorer. It seems like something about this land has caught your interest. If that's the case, I'd like to invite you to come and visit our town. You may be able to learn more there. And you're in luck because today just so happens to be a festival day. Yes, indeed. Today we celebrate the legendary Karupa Wound Elixir, greatest of all tonics and tint tinches. Mm. My God. No, I never said Hashimoto's was in remission. It doesn't go in remission. It's just a genetic disorder. Oh boy. <laughs> Legend has it, <laughs> if one chugs a bottle of famous brew, all vile things within them will be purified, and they'll be blessed with abundant health and longevity. You know, that sounds like that like chocolate stuff the frickin' Mayans made. What was it called? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I would love to try that stuff, though. It sounds interesting. The, the cocoa coffee drink. The cocoa coffee drink, yeah. Probably delicious. I mean, why wouldn't it be? Aw, oh, thank you, cool. Huh? A legendary tonic that purifies all things vile? Not only do I have a very compelling reason to get myself a bottle, it may have historical ties to this curse. Alright. I would love to purify all vile things, especially the vile things that are in my chat. Oh my god, if I could purify you guys, you'd be so much happier. It's like you guys need to heal. Yeah. 
you really need to heal. You're so miserable that you take it out on me, and it's like, dude, it's like, chill. Yeah, it's true. Can we just be friends? That's it. You know that's tr against terms of service. He's got a dubious looking face for a potato. Still, he's the only lead I've got right now. I guess it wouldn't hurt to visit their village and find out what they know. All right. Dun, dun. I leveled up. All right, let's see. Okay, for skills. I got six skills. Mm. Let's put that all in the archery. I want to get that totally done. So, we're at a range 80 plus movement speed. Attack speed plus one. Max movement speed increased. So, yeah, it just makes your speed better. You know, and your attack speed better. And, so, and attack power too, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's you're playing this like I played Cyberpunk. You max out your strength. Pretty much. Alright. They say legends sleep beneath the forest, but it sounds like a load of hooey to me. You've played this before, cool? Maybe last time was 2008. Wow, I love this. Level 10, a legendary forest. Well, all right, I accept. Lead the way. You're actually interested? I mean, of course, who wouldn't be? Just answering a couple questions in return for you saving me. Just feel like a square deal. Come and party at our festival and I'll make sure you don't go hungry. Dude, I can party and not and you'll feed me? Pretty cool. Hi, Christina. Yeah, it is like old Kingdom Hearts, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. In our town, everyone's the shy, shy sort. So don't feel bad if folks keep their distance at first. They know a good heart when they see one. Those so I'm sure they'll warm up to you quickly. She better have a good heart. She seems kind of sneaky, though, my character. Yeah, she's got an attitude. Yeah. Definitely. No one did cancer fraud! My god! Hi, bad baby. Like, the people that know this is not true need to start standing up and typing in chat. Like, you gotta, you, like, prove like, it. There's no proof to it. People know it's not true. You've it's so dumb. You've never said it. Once. I'm sure you'll all be the best of friends before you know it. I'm always right about these things at least 80% of the time. And then 20% of the time, it just goes all to hell, huh, Mascarpo? Like me, I, I just, like, I, I just take life as it comes, you know? Amen. You have to. Hi, Trollin. I'm playing Maple Story. Yeah, these guys don't realize they're mocking cancer and people go in and get tested for cancer. Like, it's disgusting. Yeah. They need to grow up. Well, what are we standing around here for? Are you ready to head to Karupa Town? Except, yes. Alrighty then. Just follow me. We'll be in the Karupa Town in no time. You'll be automatically moved to the quest map. Okay. Oh, no, a weirdo. Come on, let's go home. They're calling me a weirdo. That's messed up. No, nah, it's okay. I know I'm a weirdo. <laughs> like, I accept my weirdness. Your weirdum? Oh. Yeah, I accept my weirdum. <laughs> She's a pretty character, though. Your character's pretty. Thank you. You're pretty, though. 
see her big blue eyes? Pretty girl. Yeah, the game wouldn't work on your tablet. You need a laptop. <sighs> At least. You're playing with keyboard. Yeah. Haha, -ha. it's okay, guys. You can come out. I know this travel of me look kind of weird. With what? With that visible neck and all. But they went out of their way to save my life. Wait, 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 wait. A visible neck? Big Ed. It's Big Ed, yeah. Yeah, Big Ed would fit in this place, man. Perfectly. Cause, yeah, because he has no neck. Oh, my God. Dude, someone get a hold of Big Ed. Marscarpo would like to have him. I could see Big Ed wanting to have, like, a stream with you and talk to you. <laughs> you would intrigue him. I oh my god, I would love to talk to Big Ed. I would Big flirt Ed. with him the you whole would, time. Yeah, you would. Of course you would. Of course I would. And then you, he'd be hitting up your DMs. Hey, are you serious about that? <laughs> he'd be hitting up your DMs. <laughs> oh, oh, God bless you, Christina. I'm sorry about that. I, is she okay? Oh, Jason did the uh, Red and Stimpy fun, actually. Yeah, I did. That I had that idea a long time. Yeah. And I had we had a shirt of it too. Right. Whatever, dude. Ah I just wanna scream. <laughs> I just wanna fucking scream. Anyway. That's weird. They're being more shy than usual today. It's probably because you're the first outsider who passed through in a while. But even then they're usually not this skittish. Hmm. Maybe that loud noise we heard a few days ago has them on edge. <sighs> Mascarpo. Oh, I probably should have mentioned it before. But that loud noise is the main reason the Karupa steer clear of the ruins. Every so often we'll hear this terrifying boom and my stomach twists itself into knots every time. I've never heard anything else quite like it. It's very bizarre. <coughs> anyway, we're almost here, right ahead. You should be able to see where we Karupa live. All right. Wow. There's K S. There we go. Got to do that. Cool. All right. Let's go to Merscarpo. I've heard of this game, never seen it played before though. Loved Ren and Stimpy. I do too. That was kind of a stroke of genius on my part, I think. Right. Because I just thought, wait a minute. Because I was putting your, your name first, always, right? Shanny and Rev. But I flipped it. Not for ego's sake, but I'm like Rev, Rev and Shanny, Ren and Stimpy. True. Karupa. Unfortunately, I can't twist the villagers' stubby arms into coming out. You want them to come out of the closet, man? Leave them alone, uh -huh. man. <laughs> Maybe you should have a chat with the chief over there. He usually knows what to do. Why are you trying to manipulate these poor, scared beings into coming out and talking to me? Leave them alone. Shoo. If you're on friendly terms with the chief, and the others will start opening up to you, 
That's why he's who you want to schmooze with first. Quest complete. Oh, here. If you can win Chief Guda's trust, the townspeople will surely open up to you. But how to bribe Chief Guda? Maybe you better off just saying hello to Bad Star. So, apparently, Chief Guda. There, Chief that Gouda. that's Chief Guda. He's he looks like a blue bird. Yeah. Now let's get a little higher. Get a little higher. All the way. Give me a little higher. Let's have fun today. Yeah. Greetings. I'm the chief of this village. Everyone says greetings. Yeah. Klingons. We got we got freaking Star Trekkies who Greetings. wrote this man. Definitely. Yeah. I think so. Oh, ho, ho. so you brought an outsider with you, Marscarpo. That explains everyone scurrying around right before you showed up. Tell me what brings this stranger here. Oh wow, he's pissed. Yeah. He's pissed. He's done. Woo! Why are you invading our privacy? He's got like two horns on his head. Yeah, the, these beings have that. They got two horns. So does Marscarpo. They just have horns. Are they demons? They're so cute. I don't want them to be demons. Marscarpo explained what happened, telling the chief he wanted to invite you to the festival as thanks for pulling him out of the ground. Hmm, to be perfectly honest, this outsider sings the chilly sort, but let it not be said that I judge on first impressions alone. If Moscarpo here is vouching for you, it's doubtful you, you're the or any troublemaking sort. And so, in the interest of sharing Karupo, Karupa culture, I invite you to take part in our festivities. Now ahem, allow me, Chief Gouda, to welcome you to Karupa Town. To start, why don't you tell us a bit more about yourself? Who are you? Where are you from? Do you have any food allergies we should know about? <laughs> uh -huh. Well, that's nice, man. I'm glad he's like, into that like food allergy thing man yeah that's important because we all got food allergies in some way shape or form in this household man yeah true gastrointestinal Gu issues. gouda i like gouda i've definitely had it but i can't really remember the flavor profile i was talking about gouda oh you him yeah you like him okay but you started talking about cheese bro yeah that's true but, I mean, Gouda's okay. <laughs> I don't remember the flavor, really. I'm, I'm a cheddar baby. Yes, you are. Everything's better Shark with cheddar. White cheddar. Oh, yeah. Shark cheddar, yeah. And then if I have American, it's gotta be white American. Yeah. Straightforward. Yeah. You told him that you're an explorer from the Maple World, currently traveling in the land while beating up monsters and fetching things for people. Thankfully, it doesn't look like the chief is suspicious of you. What is this bitch hiding, man? I don't know. Definitely hiding something. First of all, Kilo Kate. Do not talk up to Christina like that. That was very rude. And I do not appreciate it. And I hope <clears throat> next time you actually learn how to talk to a freaking lady. Let's move on. That would be good. Ho oh, ho. It sounds like quite the life. I'll be sure to remember that explorer. So when do you guys bust out of Wonder, Elix Wonder Elixir 
I'm eager to see it for myself. The festival preparations are still underway, so it'll be a while before the main event. In the meantime, if you need something to keep your hands busy, why not aid the others with their tasks? That is correct. We do not have no smokes. No cigarettes. <laughs> cigarettes! <laughs> Animals give you unconditional love. I can see your choices. You're welcome, Christina. You don't deserve to be treated that way. That's BS. Yeah, man. I love you. They're picking on her probably because she's a mod. It's like, get out of here. Just leave people alone, man. Hi. Let people have a good time. God. They can't. No. The festival preparations are still underway. So I'll be a while before the main event. In the meantime, if you need something to keep your hands busy, why not aid the others with their tasks so I have to be your slave? I guess so. Hmm, the townspeople all seem weary, but helping them out could really break the ice. If they start feeling comfortable around me, I might even be able to get some useful info out of them. See, she she has an angle, man. I don't yeah, like that, man. That she's very like that. Yeah. Hi, sweetness. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Oh yeah. Level up. Lucky thirteen. Yeah. XP. AP. I think I leveled this up. No, it's three. Darn. Almost. You're almost there. I am. There's events that are available. Oh, yes. Let's go to Marscarpo. Yeah, what's he gonna Wait, do? wait, wait, why is that? The, like, there's Bree, but that has a lock on it. Mm -hmm. Matza? Matza? Army? They're all named after cheese. Marsco, Marscarpo? Marscarpone? Marscarpone. Gouda? Bree? Yeah, they're cheeses. Matza, Matza, Parmi? Mozzarella. They're Parmi. cheeses. They're cheeses. This was the perfect thing I picked. I love cheese. Da -dum. Da -dum. I love cheese. Da -dum. I love cheese. Da -dum. Yes, I do. <laughs> jump. Move. You want me to jump? There you go. I love cheese. <laughs> I love cheese. I love cheese. Okay. All right. Let's go to Marscarpo. Yeah. Help in hand one. Like the chief said, everyone's busy with festival-related business. But who knows? If you give them a hand with their duties, we might be able to get everything ready faster. What do you say, explorer? Are you up for helping out with some work around town? Nothing in Deer is an outsider to us Karupa quite as fast as reducing the amount of work as we have to do ourselves. Yeah, I can do that. The only question is, who should I help first? We've only known each other a few hours and you're already such a team player. Don't worry about a thing. I'll send you where your help is most needed. There's a youngster named Bree who's in charge of preparing all the ingredients for the Wonder Elixir. It's one of the festival's most challenging jobs, so I think she'd definitely appreciate a hand with the work. Bree is a pretty upbeat kid, a real ray of sunshine compared to the most of us in this village, so there's no need to worry about her giving you the cold shoulder. Anyway, good luck, we're counting on you. Alright, Bree got unlocked. Hi, little green thing. So, we got a locked quest, return to Pardum, requirement level 20, and then open hand, level 10. 
Hee <laughs> hee. You're the brave explorer who marched Garpo out of the ground when he got stuck, right? I may have been eavesdropping on your conversation with Chief Goot. Is she eating the frickin'? No, she's just looking. Watermelon? No, watermelon, what are you doing? She's the she's gone. She's gone. Yeah. I should be a voice actress? Yes. Thank you. Hey, you're very good. <laughs> you're the brave explorer who pulled Marscarpo out of the ground when he got stuck, right? I may have been eavesdropping on your conversation with Chief Gouda. In my defense, we don't get a lot of visitors. Hmm. You do sort of give off an unhappy vibe, like the Chief said. But I don't think you're a bad person. I'm sorry I know I'm unhappy. I have a lot of people who are trying to take me down and I'm just like, dudes, I'm not doing anything. Oh my god. Yeah. True. I really admire people who have courage like that. They always seem like they can do anything. I wish I could be more like them. It's just like you just like you just have to exist, man. My English accent sounds like Cary Grant. Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> her upbeat beat disposition suddenly de dims. A pained look on her face. But just as quickly as she grown down class, she rallies her chair as though she to snap out of her funk. D you know what? My character is has borderline personality disorder. Aww. Thank you, Ava. She's just like, she, she spirals down. She's unhappy all the time. She's very guarded. She doesn't trust nobody. Oh, sorry. I totally spaced and forgot to introduce myself. I'm Bree. I'm in charge of the festival preparations this year. It's a lot of work preparing for a festival held to wish the town's well-being. Lots of pressure. I'd be easy. It'll be easier if I that loud noise would just give it a rest this year. You love what I'm playing? Thank you, Unknown Suffering. A.K.A. Steph. Ugh! Silly me, getting all carried away. You came to help me with my festival work, right? Well, before I babble your ear off, let me tell you what ingredients we still need. Bam, I level! Let's do the auto assign. Oh yeah, I'm gonna level up my mastery, man. Woo woo, yeah. That's leveled up. Let's do. Hmm. Increases my critical rate. Let's do that. Okay, so I need to get my keyboard. It, no, it's not like that. Where's the keyboard? Uh, hmm. Let me see. Give me a minute. That's world. Maple user list. Boss. Why? Okay. Fine. Fine.
There's inventory. I'm looking for the keyboard. I forgot what the key was for it. Bill. No, that's Whisper. Maple chat. You can chat to someone privately. It's like a DM. Oh, I... Holy snikes. Yeah. Oh, I know what to do. What they want me to do... Okay. There's the skill. I take this and bring it down to control. And then I take attack and I'll put it on shift. There we go. Ha ha. I figured it out, guys. I am a genius. Alright. Help in hand two. We need pudgy flower stems times ten, which you can get from pudgy flowers. Pudgy flowers live in the toxic, toxic pudge meadow. The toxic pudge meadow, man. <laughs> I leave it to you then, brave explorer. Still, um, pudgy flowers might look like a bunch of lily stem pushovers, but they do have spiky thorns, so be careful not to get pricked, okay? Alright, start the route. Oh, that looks bomb. Oh, I can't wait to use this. Alright, I think we go to these dudes. Yeah. Look at that. Just take them out. That's bomb. Dude, you gotta see my new power. I'm, I'm cooking. Oh, I make, I make, there was only one piece of Texas toast left, so you're gonna get that, and I'm making a sweet potato fries. Ooh, yum yum. With sugar and cinnamon. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at that. Whoa. That's the shite. Goodbye. Defense shift sigil or something? Right? That's cool. They have voice acting now. Yeah, that's this. cool. They didn't when I went, you know. You uh, playing it oh, here. shoot. I need an MP. Oh. Okay. So. There's etc. We got the use. Alright. So. What I'm gonna do is. Let's see, where's my buttons? Alright. We're gonna put the red potion there. Or the blue potion there, and the red potion on the home button. No, 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 no. Cancel. The red potion on the oh home God, button. It's so darky. Go to the home button. To the home button. There we go. Alright. There we go. That's better. Just needed my power, man. I did it. Move, buddy. Out of the way. I got things to do. Get out. Fox News can Tucker Carlson. 
No! Okay. One minute. One minute. We 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 have to check this out about the Tucker Carlson situations. So give me a moment. I gotta check this out. Tucker Carlson. I don't see anything on that. I don't know if it's true. Huh. I don't know if it's true, but I don't see anything on it. Because I looked. Back to the game. I'm sorry you had a bad couple of weeks. I hope it gets better. Wow. You've already brought all the pudgy flower stems. That was really fast. You must hit a lot harder than you look like you do. Pudgy flower stems are pretty tough and fibrous. But through the secret method passed down among the Karupa, they become part of the formula for mystical wonder elixir. Yeah, I'll send you my Steam name on IG. Breaking news on NBC. Alright, well, I'm almost done with this, so after I get through this, I'll take a look. At the end of the festival, we share a drink of Wonder Elixir as we wish for health and fortitude of everyone in town. Would you like to try some, too? Mm -hmm. I gotta check this out. You're ruining my, my stream. Okay. NBC. NBC. I don't see it. There's nothing that you're, you're just trolling me now. How dare you troll me? At the end of the festival, we all sh share a drink of wonder elixir as we wish for the health and fortitude of everyone in town. Would you like to try some too? As a rather bitter aftertaste, but so do a lot of healthy things. Hee <laughs> hee. That's correct. If you want to drink your very own bottle of wonder elixir with us, it'll happen that much sooner with your help. So just talk with me again whenever you're ready. No, Jones never sent us pizza and Dr. Pepper. They share the Wonder Elixir as part of their festival. Level increase. Yay! Get the auto assign. And then let's get the Cardinal Deluge. Get that up. All right, talk to Bree again. Next on the list, we're gonna need Toxic Blossom, Toxic Blossom Leaf times ten. You can get those from the Toxic Blossoms. Toxic Blossoms live in. Toxic Pudge Meadow. All right, I accept said mission. I'll leave it in your capable hands. And by the way, Toxic Blossoms are known for their poisonous pollen, but as long as you don't breathe it in, you should be fine. 
I'll bet someone as strong as you could fight for 15 minutes without breathing. I kind of doubt it. You have arrived at your... These are the toxic blossoms. Hey, buddy. Get away from me. We're getting that stuff, man. Don't run. Ha 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 ha. Take them out. Ah, oh, I can stand on a lift and get them out. That's awesome. There we go. Get those DBs. Wee. Get those DBs. All right, more toxic blossoms to get. No. Oh yeah. Sick. I did it. That was nuts. Move, guys. Sorry. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with you. Those look like toxic blossom leaves. I'll take them, thank you. It might seem counterintuitive to make a purified elixir out of something laced with poison, <coughs> but the poison itself is neutralized by the preparation process. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, sure. These ingredients are weird, but they don't seem miraculous or anything. Can they really make a legendary medicinal tonic out of this stuff? Maybe the power is in the steps of the recipe itself. I'm curious, how exactly do you mix all these ingredients? You may have seen a stone mortar and pestle in the forest outside town. Those have been handed down through the line of chiefs for generations, and that's what we can use to grind up everything and make the wonder elixir. It looks like all the preparations for the festival are done. Just let me run one last check to make sure I don't forget anything. <laughs> yeah. I'm level 16 already, man. Awesome. You level super fast for some reason. Like, faster than what I'm used to on this game, but I guess that's a good thing, man. Like, yeah. True. The only downside is your character has an attitude. Ugh. That's true. Like, she's not a sweet character. She's true. Like, yeah. Safe and secure. That's when bad shit goes down, man, when it's all safe peace, and secure. Peace and safety. Sudden destruction. They're saying in the chat that Tucker Carlson... Yeah. Has been fired from Fox. What? No way. Let's look this up. Oh, uh, that's pretty big news. Yeah. If that's true. Let's look this up. We should check this out for a second. Tucker Carl Sin fired. Let's go to news. Leaving. Oh, he's, he's leaving. leaving. Fox News. It wow. says fired. Yeah. It says fired. Yeah. Fired at Fox News. Ousted after the company. He loses. He, he was part of the reason. Yeah. Part of the re yeah, man. Right? So he's gone, man. Wow. Bye, Tucker. This show ain't gone yet, though, right? No. Yeah, it's gonna be though. Bye, Tucker. Right. I mean, that's what you get when you peddle lies, and and you knew. I, you, uh, I, I've, I, I, I am sorry for saying that you were trolling, Libra. 
That's cool. I'm uh, glad. He started a lot of freaking problems in this country. That's what you get for peddling lies, and he knew they were lies. And he was saying other stuff privately. Yeah. It's clear they knew what they were doing, the people that were peddling it. That's true. So good good riddance. He'll go to OAN or something, or start his own podcast. You know? Possibly. He'll be fine. He'll have no problem. <clears throat> Get hired by it. It looks like everything's been taken care of. We can begin the ceremony. Can you let the chief know we're ready? Oh no, we're gonna go for a ceremony, guys. Right. Quest complete. All right, I guess I gotta go to Gouda. Gouda, 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 Gouda. Gouda I love Gouda, that they're Gouda. cheese names. I know. That's great. It's like Dragon Ball Z, and everyone's like has a vegetable name. The guy, the Saiyans. Really? And God bless Christina. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. We love her. Right? We love her. And she forgives. She does. That shows you that the spirit of a person is if they can forgive. I believe that. True. Doing that thing again. Again, DDoS. I guarantee it, honey. Oh. I guarantee it. Okay. Just play through it. Because it's it's coming through. We could see it fine. Yeah. So you're good. Oh, well, I mean, Yeah. You've Young. been sick all week. Creepy, some people. Anyway, demonic. Bree says she's got everything ready on her end. Oh ho! Looks like she's got things squared away earlier than expected, thanks to your help. Now, let's gather everyone in town together and let the ceremony commence. Yay! Yay! That's awesome. Are they gonna make cheese? I don't know. Maybe. I hope they make cheese. I hope they make cheese too. <sighs> You're gonna have a real nice piece of Texas toast, I mean. Cool. It's gonna be nice for you. With pasta? I can nuke some pasta for you. Yeah. We traditionally hold this part of the festival on Mortergeind Hill. I'll gather the townsfolk and we'll head over and you can join us whatever you're whenever you're ready. Alright. Ugh! I can't hold back any longer. I have to know how it works. I'm gonna get there before everyone else and examine that stone mortar and pestle myself. Mm -hmm. Alright. There's the mortar and pestle. Wow. Huh. That scary up there. And father. Whoa. It's so pretty. Look at the little mushrooms on the side. That is neat. Yeah. Can I say that I love the look of this game? Like, yeah, aesthetically, it's very beautiful, and like, I love the art. Very, Me too. It's really impressive. Like, this looks like a game they spent like twenty million dollars to make. Yeah. The shading is like, wow. It's just really impressive. Praise Jesus for people. Dude! Praise Jesus. It's awesome. After this, sh we'll talk about that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Huh, this must be the legendary tool Brie was talking about. I just want to end the storyline. No, yeah. It's got some moss grown on it. But that's to be expected of a stone object that's been sitting outside since ancient times. 
Maybe they don't realize that this is an artifact. Bree said at the end of the ceremony, everyone drinks their share of wonder elixir, and soon I'll get my chance. I hear the townsfolk coming. Now's my chance to make my exit. Then I can show, just show up in a few minutes like I just got there, and no one will be the wiser. All right, cool. Several minutes later on Motor Grind Hill, I see everyone's here, good, good. As we come together to partake in the legendary Karupa Wonder Elixir, let us all reflect on the spirit of healing and wellness, both in ourselves and in our community. Amen! Yeah. I agree. Bink. A divine power has come to rest in the legendary Mordorin Festival. As we have a special guest with us for this year's celebration, I would like to offer them the honored first stop. First sip. Oh, I gotta drink this shit? You gotta drink it, bro. Ah oh, man, I'm gonna trip. That's it. How much do you bet I'm gonna trip out, guys? My Come, traveler, and partake in the wonder elixir. I'm ready. As you prepare to drink the wonder elixir, you feel the ominous energy within you begin to surge in your discomfort. It occurs to you that the sensation is much like the first time you came in contact with the relic. How am I feeling today? Awesome! It is Hiawaska. You are correct, Nick. Oh shit, she's tripping. What? What? Oh no. It's the sound. The terrible sound. But this is the sound that comes from those ghastly ruins outside the village. What in the world? I still feel the curse's presence, but there's some weird reaction going on too. I'll bet the relic has some sort of connection with this town. If only I knew what... Arg! My head feel like it's going to explode. Danger! Everyone, back to the village! Take shelter there! Ah, crap, man. At the chief's urging, the town's folk flee toward the village, spooked by the loud noise. The only ones who remain are the chief and the chatterbox. I need some time. I try to put cookies in there so they got obliterated. They still might be kind of good though. Thank you, my love. <laughs> <laughs> No, burnt chocolate chip cookies are delicious. It got a little nuked. A little, a, a little, a wee nuked. I had it up to 425, that's why. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at the gas, bro. To think our festival would be disrupted by such an ill omen. Tell me, traveler, why is your body making the same haunting noise we hear from the ruins? Farting. Yeah. Fuck, Gouda. Like, you're all cheese. You should know that I'm, like, gonna fart. Well, cheese, uh, actually backs you up. 
I need too good, much cheese. I need good vibes, folks. Got to commute into Atlanta for post-op appointment with my surgery. I hate going into Atlanta. Jesus bless you, man. Anxiety, yeah, bless yeah, you. Yeah, man. Je you're going to be just fine. Jesus is going to heal you real yeah. fast. And you're going to be chill going into the city. Yeah, it's no going to be just fine, girl. Yeah. You got this. You got this. You're a warrior. Yeah. You're, you're, you're yeah. You're, you're like a... Amazon, like Xena. Like Xena, yeah. Or Gabrielle. You've never been to Atlanta? It's huge. The traffic is awful. Oh, I can imagine. Are you going in through 70 or 90, Highway 70 or 90 into Atlanta? You should visit CNN headquarters. CNN. Okay. Trusted name the news. Let's, let's continue. To think our festival would be disrupted by such an ill omen. Tell me, traveler, why is your body making the same haunting noise we... Oh, yeah, I said I farted. It's There's hard. no way I could have predicted the wonder elixir would trigger something weird like this, like a fart. <laughs> <laughs> Looks oh. like I've worn out my welcome with these guys, but I guess that means there's no reason to hold back my injury for politeness sake now yeah man she had to fart man <laughs> and they're all like what is that noise and they're like oh a girl farted oh my god she's not a lady and now they're rejecting her I just love when a girl farted it looks cute right that's me I don't know I've got a few questions of my own this relic what exactly is it? You know something about it, don't you? Maybe. Maybe. Taken out the relic you found in the ruins. You hold it before you for them to see. You watch them tremble as the color drains from their faces. Oh my god. How did you come to possess such a terrible thing? You need to leave right now and to think I took you for a good person. Oof. This is rough. Dude, I just farted, man. Good know. people fart too. It's true. Now it's all coming in my phone, the Tucker Carlson stuff. It's uh, like big news. Wow. Ah, oh, man. It's a big deal. Though. I can't wait to hear Lawrence tonight over that. Oh, I'm be happy. Very Ooh, happy. we got to see Midas Touch and Chris, Christina. Oh, well, folks! Yeah, man. Old Donnie had a bad one today, folks. Oh, my God, you <laughs> did him so good. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I'm pretty good at Canadians, I think. I can do the Canadian because it's, you know... Access, but PA. It's kind of PA. All right, you know, we're continuing. Okay. Not only have you defiled our sacred festival with that odious totem. He see, he said odious. Odious. My yes. odious fart, man. <laughs> you have brought in your wake that foul noise and smell that has long struck fear into the hearts of the Karupa. Jeez. I made a freaking silent, but no, it, they heard it. I made a, I, I made a, a, a loud and smelly. <clears throat> I disturbed their noses. They can't take it, man. No. It's can't over. take my fart. You gotta leave. Like, what up with that, man? You have brought evil things right into our midst. After what we all just experienced, I doubt anyone would wish to extend you any further hospitality. Leave our village and do not return. Damn. The toxic fart. Oh, Lord. Thank you, you're welcome to the coffee. Well, this puts me in a bit of an awkward place.
Guess I've got no choice but to try some other avenues of investigation. Why does this always happen to me? I fart and then people run away. I know. How can a toot be so offensive? Some people don't like the man. People that are named cheeses don't like farts. That That's correct. That's what's going on here. Uh-huh. Because it reminds them of their own smell. Oh shit, I leveled up? Yeah. There's Bree sitting in the tree right there. Yeah. What you doing there, Bree? Are you, are you, you know, liking my farty smell? Mm -hmm. Let's get that. There we go. Cool. All right, Bree. It's you and me, buddy. Can you tell? This isn't good. Someone's got to stop, step up and do something. Hero, hero. Okay. Am I a hero or is he a hero? Mm -hmm. I thought everyone ran away. What are you still doing here? I like the smell of your farts. <laughs> I was hiding and I saw that thing you pulled out to show the chief. Does that relic have some connection to the ruins outside of the town? And what if it does? We Karupa are sacred of, of those ruins and the sound that sometimes comes from them, it's a weird sound, like a loud crash and a yawning drone you can hear clearly even in town. It feels like it gets a bit louder every time and more ominous, but all we can do is carry on and put all our hearts into our festiv festivities. No one ever ventured inside the ruins to find out what's going on in there and what causes the noise that scared and so am I. Eep, just thinking about it, giving me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Still, we can't just let things go on like this. I feel like it's only a matter of time before it turns from just scary to really dangerous. Whoa. Someone's got to step up and do something. We're too caught up in our own fear. Yeah, man, but not you. You're brave and strong, too. I have a feeling I know where this is going, but just tell me what you're getting at. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is, if you wouldn't mind a scaredy cat like me, could you maybe take me along as you investigate your relic? You? What sort of help would you be? Well, I'm good at helpery stuff. Helpery. I can fight or anything, but if you need anything from in or around the town, you can count on me. Plus, there's someone I can introduce you to. He's kind of a weirdo, but he's smart. They know a lot of weirdos. Mm -hmm. I've noticed. They like weirdos. Mm hmm. They really do. They like weirdos. <laughs> weirdos are people, too. His name is Gorgons. He's a kooky guy who hangs around outside town and observes the ruins. He collects weird odds and ends, too, but I don't know what for. Huh. Okay. He's like Obi-Wan. Sort of. Yeah. Gorgons. Ooh. So we got we got to find Gorgons? Ooh. Ooh. If we find him... He might be able to answer a few of your questions. Of course, I'll handle the introductions. I accept, sir. I never thought of myself as someone who do the whole hero sidekick thing. But if this can net me a few good... Net, yeah, it says net me. Net me a few good leads. Then sure, I'll play along. Mm -hmm. Moving in a group makes it harder to avoid detection. But once the investigation's done, you're not tagging along after that. Got it? So you're saying you will take me then, right? I just know we'll make great a great team. All right! Ooh. I leveled up again. Sweet. 
that's all I do in this game is like level up. It's like, can I freaking like kill things now? But it is the introduction to the game. I understand mm -hmm. getting you used to it, not throwing you in like crazy shape. They're not throwing you in with a bullrog, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, JCVL. God bless you, ma'am. I'm sorry that happened to you. Gorgon's home. Hee <laughs> hee, come on. I'll take you to meet Gorgon's. His house isn't far. Except. Alright. Go this way. He's following me, baby. That's cool. Yes! Agree. Yes, queen! You have your Brie block phone. I do have Brie. Oh my god, what the fuck are these? 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 Oh. They're like what, riding on ducks and they have flowers on their head? How, how hard are you? Oh, I can Whoa. kill that really fast. Never mind. Ooh. I'm not afraid of them anymore. I'm not afraid anymore! You hear that? Wow, you are powerful. I'm not afraid anymore! Holy crap, it's like one shot done. Mm -hmm. Badass. Right? It sounded like Link. Don't run. Back off, buddy. You weird cactus looking things. Hop and sprout. It's hops. It's beer. Yeah. Beer. <laughs> oh. oh. It's a cutscene. Gorgon's place. This is Gorgon's house. He's probably asleep right now, though. Since he tends to stay up late, the nap's half the day away. Hey, Gorgon's, wake up and roll out of bed for a minute. I need to talk to you. Gorgon's, oh, Gorgon's, I don't think Gorgon's around, man. Sleep is hibernating. Uh -huh. Hibernating. Gorgons. Oh wait, I just remembered. There's a surefire way to get him to show. D D D D D. Uh oh. Is it Nader? No, don't do it. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. I love you, Chantal. Yeah. Don't take that seriously. Anyway. Demo Gorgons! Demo Gorgons! What? Oh. What? <laughs> Flip. Gorgons is an or is an orange dude with a little hat. Oh. Ah, that's what I like to hear. The power, the prestige, the smidge of extra credibility that comes with being addressed by your full name. Anyway, long time no see, kiddo. What's shaking? <sighs> well, you don't seem to be doing any worse for wear. I was worried when you first said you were moving out of town. Worried for me? I roll with the punches. Whatever the trouble, I'll tough it out. But enough about me. Who's your tall, dark, and shady friend there? <laughs> Wait, don't tell me. You hired your very own assassin. Dun dun dun. Whoa. <laughs> Personal assassin. Right? Oh. Ah, no, they're a hero, an explorer who, who was passing through the area. We're working together now. Did I mention they're super strong? <laughs> At long last, a fellow connoisseur of myth, mystery, and generally odd. <laughs> Become my rival and let us scorch each other with the flames of heated scholarly competition! Wow. He wants to debate. Yeah, how's that way? I mean, he's crossing his hands and shit, man. Yeah, it's true. He's fucking ready, man. He's ready. Mm-hmm. He's ready. Oh, boy. What? No! This is why people don't come visit you, Gorgons. Anyway, 
the Explorer and I are here to see you about something important. She told Gorgons we were investigating the ruins, stepping up the effort because the loud sounds were getting worse, which is, sure, let's just go with it. <coughs> Sorry. <gasps> <laughs> a little spittle that happens. Put down the run tube! Ah, baby. Let's continue on. Okay. Which is sure, let's go. With that for simplicity's sake. Yeah. Because right now my eyeball is crying. Ooh, I hate that. I mean, now my throat feels like it's just been stabbed. Yeah. Ah. Why does that happen? Like, just one little bead of freaking spittle, like, down your throat and chokes you. Yeah. It's like your own body's trying to kill you. It's crazy. Right? It is. Ah. So, let's restart this. She told Gorgons we were investigating the ruins, stepping up the effort because the loud noises were getting worse. Which is, sure, let's just go with that for simplicity's sake. Am I okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, first things first. What can you tell me about this relic? Yes, she needs to know about the relic. I showed the relic to Gorgons, but when he saw it, his face grew pale, just like Marscarpo and the Chief. Your face drew pale? I'm sorry you got scammed, Mama. That sucks. That sucks. Eep! S -s Sorry. What can you please put that away? Yowzer. I don't know where you picked that thing up, but it's got some seriously bad mojo floating around it. Just like the ruins. Is it connected to the ruins? Did you get it from the ruins? I'm the one asking the questions here. I heard you observed the ruins. How much do you know about them? So, here's the thing. I'm no archaeologist. I just like creepy, scary stuff. <laughs> He's like Graveyard Girl, man. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, that's why I hang out near the ruins. I don't really know all that much about them, scientifically speaking. Sorry to be di a disappointment, but there is something in the ruins you're looking for. There is something I've got that I think can help. What? What can help? Gorgons. Hello. Hem, you ain't getting a peep out of me until you address me properly as Demogorgons. Okay. You could also add the great on top of that if you're feeling generous. The great Demogorgons, okay. Mm -hmm. Ancient compass. See, there's this compass I use whenever I'm searching for something. If you place an object connected to the thing you're looking for near it, it'll tell you the direction you need to go to reach it. Curious, just follow me if you want to see. It's set up out back, not exactly a lawn rock. Okay, let's go. That sure sounds convenient. I wonder where in the ruins it might lead if I place the relic on it. Alright. Oh, he's coming with us! <laughs> the great. Oh, right here? Ancient compass complete. Ah, crap. I totally forgot. 
Because of those loud noises coming from the ruins recently, the compass stopped working. The vibrations just shook a whole mess of pieces right off it. It's too bad the compass was pretty handy at local located things. But not to worry. This has happened before. And I've managed to get get it in good work in order. We'll just have to find the missing parts and plug them back in to the cart compass. Mm -hmm. I've been kind of busy lately, so I haven't managed to find them all. You'll need the last if you'll use the compass. Cough. <sighs> Fine. So where are these missing parts then? Well... Mm. Well, I'm level 19. Nice. And I think I'm gonna end this live stream. Because I've been doing this for two hours, and my throat really hurts now, and I kind of need to rest my voice. Yeah. I will see you next time on our show. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you enjoyed the show, thumbs up it. Subscribe if you haven't. Also, if you would like to support us, please go to Cash App at dollar sign Shanny Dorn, or you could go to PayPal at Rev Dude. It's also in the description below. Anyway, peace, Maranatha, guys. I love you guys. Have a good day. Try Maple Story out. It is a good game. Peace. I'm going to be playing this game. Because, like, nobody's around. So if you want to join me, you can join me. See you guys.